Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Sandy. And we're two Tenderfoot tourists. Welcome to episode 111, a Tenderfoot look back at 2019. Today on Two Tenderfoot Tourists, we're telling you all about everything, everything that happened in 2019. say first of all thank you everyone for tuning in to two tenderfoot tourist you know who you are <laughs> for listening to our podcast um it's been a crazy 2019 talk about a roller coaster yeah we appreciate you sticking around too because we know we haven't been around a lot but we appreciate you coming back and listening to us we really enjoy putting these out for everybody. Oh, yeah. And uh, subscribing means a lot to us. And uh, those people that um, uh, contacted us on Facebook and, and uh, said that they, you know, they love what we're doing here and also made some suggestions for uh, uh, different podcasts. We really appreciate that. Without you, um, it just makes the whole experience of doing a podcast even more fun. It totally does. I, I like connecting with people. Every time you read me something that somebody wrote that we don't know, I mean, of course, we love hearing from family and friends but when it's a stranger we get so excited yeah so we love it keep it up please write more <laughs> oh definitely uh so uh, you know what this is a year in review 2019 so let's start with january what happened well Nothing. really i start to you could say through Jan january through mid-march we did pretty much nothing but prepare our home mm -hmm. uh, other than buy our silver dollar city season passes. That's true. So we did accomplish that, but um, we just prepared our home because I was having shoulder surgery, shoulder which surgery. really kind of put a big old monkey wrench in our plans for the year. It kind of did, but I mean, we, we it made it through well. it. It yeah. went well. I'm so excited to it was, say you had that a good my doctor. Oh, I did. I had a great doctor and I had a really great therapist. Yes, you my did. physical therapist did a wonderful job with me and I worked my butt off and did what he told me to do. <laughs> Caused you a lot of physical pain. Yes, he did. I, I, I think I hit him a couple times. I didn't mean to, <laughs> but it was reflex, but you know, it, it went well and my shoulder is really doing well and I'm looking forward to kayaking. Oh, yeah, no joke. Okay. I didn't get to do that last summer, but I want to do it this summer. Yes. You know, the things that we touch upon, you know, uh, let us know when you hear this podcast. Let us know what your favorite moments that we got to share with you of 2019 that we may, we may not have mentioned. Or if we mentioned one, tell us this. Definitely, you agree with us that those are your, your favorite as well. But uh, your sol shoulder surgery, but it led into... Um, May, which was a first right. for us. Because, because of course I had to recuperate. So the rest of March was a bust. April was pretty much a bust. Mm -hmm. We finally actually went to Silver Dollar City with oh, Arm and Sling. That. Yes. Um, in May. Yeah. Right before we went on our first cruise. Right. And that's the part you're excited about. Yeah. Um, I, the, going to Silver Dollar City, I forced myself. I was like, I have to go. Yeah. It's Silver Dollar City and they're building a new ride and I wanted to peek through the holes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so we did that, but then the cruise. Yes. And now if anybody remembers what I did was I basically put a deposit and I surprised it to Sandy. Uh, what was it like? Uh, so it was actually, it would have been 2000. 18 October? Maybe. Yes. And then yes. we went, yes, that would work. Yes. That you surprised me. I was very surprised because we had Justin and Wendy, the C Queen City Cruisers, Correct. and we had Sean and Jen in right. here also. The most talkative girl in the world. Yes, she Jen. couldn't get her to shut up. Yes. <laughs> shut up, Jen. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but she, um, uh, but anyway, yes. Um, it was fun. We had, uh, 
we had a good time on the ship as far as like taking advantage of the foods that were available. Right. The food was incredible. The um, environment was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. We loved being with our friends. That's the biggest discovery we made on this trip was we like taking a trip with friends. We'd mm-hmm. never done it before and to that extent. Which you're thinking if someone's listening, it's like, why wouldn't you want to take a vacation with your friends? Because we didn't want it ruined. Correct. A Go cruise ahead. is a perfect way to do that, even if you have different interests, because you can do so many things together and then you can go apart too and it's fine it's it's great we had a great time and we learned one big thing after that mm-hmm. that we want to do it again there you go so naturally what i did is i put a deposit on another cruise right we're working on that one we're right working now. on on that one right now but still i mean it's we have another cruise in our future we're just not sure exactly what Yet. Yes. Uh, because we, things have changed. The one thing we know is we want to try a bigger ship because the one we were Correct. on was the Enchantment, Enchantment of, the of the Seas. seas yeah. And it's small. Yeah. And it's older. And yeah. we wanted to try a, a step or two up. So yeah. we're going to definitely mm-hmm. try something a little bigger. That's the one thing we're sure of. True. And <laughs> more ports because the cruise yes. that we did take, we only had one port, which was Cozumel. And it was only a four-day cruise, and we want to have a longer cruise because we want more time at the beach. So we can gain more weight. (laughs) More time at the beach. Yes. (laughs) Taking walks on the deck. Yes, more walks. Less eating, more walking. Yes. The food is too good, though. It's amazing. Oh, my goodness. Um, But, yes, the cruise. It was a great time, great food. The entertainment was good. We had a good time. Yes. And now if you want to hear about our eye-opening experience of that cruise, you can go back to the podcast in 2019 to episodes 91, uh, 92. And uh, also you get to hear about our port in Galveston and uh, on episode number 93. And you can, you can check those out and you can hear all the things that we really, really liked and loved and all the things that uh, we did not like. Right. And something else we got to do is we, for episode 94, we got to interview Matt Hotchberg, um, who is a cruise expert. Mm-hmm. And what's his podcast called? RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Oh, blog. I yeah. always say it's a podcast. It's a blog. It's a podcast. Po- it is. He's incredible. And he, he talks really fast with so much information, and you can't help but just like tune in. You right. have to listen. He's interesting. He's fun. Yeah. I, I was kind of geeking out when I had him on the podcast. <laughs> he nerd. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, he's the one. Matt Hotchberg is the one that that uh, give gave me all the ideas of like what to do or what to avoid when it came to going on a cruise, uh, and why he picks certain cruises over others. He's very informative. He's very quick, as Sandy said. Um, I highly recommend that you go listen to that podcast. But go check out his uh, well, podcast okay. as well. Let's put this into perspective. Sure, we aren't special. We want you to think we are because we want you to listen to us. <laughs> but we're not special. All yeah. we've done is figured out that if you want to have a good trip, you research it. Yeah. You listen to other people who have done it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you compare it to other people who have done it. So you don't have one person that's kind of got a psycho opinion over here that you're listening to, you or one that's too patient, mm-hmm. <laughs> that mm-hmm. is okay with dirty. You know, we, we listen to a lot of people. We put it all together. We start learning who knows their stuff. Yeah. And we put stuff together according to good information. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we plan a good trip. <laughs> that's how that's my, what you are. Different. That's how my man does it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But, my man, mm, my man. My man. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I had my head going on that one. I even. saw that. Mm-hmm. You just did that little. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. I get whiplash. <laughs> it's a girl thing. <laughs> it, it must be. But then we came back from that trip and we were on a major high. Right. Um, salt and peppered in some more Silver Dollar City here and there. So then we came back from the uh, the cruise, and our daughter in law and our son greeted us with a great informa- uh, a great news that we were going to be grandparents. Right, not just grandparents, but grandparents of twins. Oh, that was so exciting! And this again remind you is with our best friends. Mm-hmm. So grandparents and grandparents that are best friends. So we were like beyond pumped over this. Oh yeah. So then we head on into August and we have episode 100 and 102 
talking about what, Steve? Route 66, baby. Yeah, we had a lot of fun researching that. We want to get more into Route 66. We've decided we really like the Route 66 stuff. What's so good about our location as far as Route 66 goes? Right there in the, uh, well, I mean, we're right on the Route 66. Yes. It goes straight through Springfield, Missouri. Um, eight hours uh, north uh, northeast of us toward Chicago, you got a lot of little venues and little attractions that you can go visit straight through St. Louis on into Springfield, Illinois, you know, almost to Chicago. The great thing about Route 66, <laughs> the great thing about Route 66 is they have all of these historic landmarks you can check out. Yeah. But then there's new stuff popping up along there too that is not to snub their nose at Route 66. It's the opposite. They want to be a part of it. And, and that is exciting. And it's kind of, I'm kind of glad you mentioned that because if you head east, like I was talking about, mm -hmm. one of the new locations is Uranus, uh, um, Fudge Factory. Fudge Factory. And we're making it nice. Everybody else calls it the other way, but we're trying we're to make it We're being nice. It's a family show. <laughs> it's a family show. But it is funny if you've got a good sense of humor and you're not too offended easily. Um, Go in. It's a hilarious thing. Mm -hmm. You will not stop giggling about the <laughs> silliness that they're selling and the things they're yelling over the PA. I was just getting ready to mention that. Um, it, it, uh, it's made to make you smile. It is. And they have very good fudge. They have a lot of novelty items that you they can do. buy, T-shirts and weird, goofy stuff. They have a restaurant there that you can eat at. They also have a gun range. And they, they, have, they have a custard store or an they, ice cream store or something like that. They had all of the kind yeah. of that stuff, yeah. And they even had a double-decker bus and photo opportunities and dinosaurs and rocket ships. and Yeah, and didn't they have weird. something that was going to end up being a simulator? Yeah, that was yeah. that rocket ship. Yeah. They were wanting to turn it into a simulator. They also have like, uh, if you like the kind of person that likes the roadside attractions, got the weird. They actually have the museum for the weird. Yes, like they the, do. The oddities, if you yeah. will. So, oh, they have the axe throwing place back yeah. there too. Oh, gun. That's right. They have a gun range and an axe throwing yep, yep, area. Yep, 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 yep. So, um, it is really recommended. It's right off of Route 66. It's a brand new place. You can see a lot of it for free. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of it's free. If you want to get something, then you pay for it. If you want to go into the museum, then you pay for it. If you want to do the axe throwing or the gun range, you pay for it. But all the looking around and doing the photo ops and just messing around, mm -hmm. it's free. So it's a nice little short roadside stop for anybody who's tired of driving. <laughs> right, exactly. And you can find that right off of I-44 that runs through Missouri here, uh, just outside of St. Roberts, Missouri. So just feel free to stop by, have yourself a good laugh, take a few photos, send them, put them on your Facebook and make other people laugh. It's really a very, very unique place. And I'm pretty... I personally think it's a really good replacement for the strip club that used to be there. I agree. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that, dear. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, gosh. So, um, but I mean, that is east of Springfield on uh, Route 66, but further into like into St. Louis. St. Louis has got a plethora. I used a big word. Oh, yes, you did. It was of, fancy. <laughs> of, of Route 66 stuff that you can see. And we decided, uh, to go and eat some custard at Ted, I almost said Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted Drews. Ted Drews. <laughs> That's really funny. Custard Leave that in there. Stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ted Drews frozen custard in St. Louis has been around since 1940s. Oh yeah. Well, the first, the first, actually, the first one was started in 1930. I was wrong about that. Number. Oh, you messed up the notes. I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, 1930 was the first one that came to St. Louis. The first right. one is actually in the 20s in in Florida, and the owner of it, who was a an Olympic tennis player actually made one here and made two actually in St. Louis. And they, one of which was right off of Route 66, which you and I ate at. Absolutely. And what's so special, you might ask? They were the creators, the original creators of the concrete. I'm so glad you remembered it. I'm going to love ice cream and cus frozen custard. <laughs> so, you know, I'll never forget. But that's true. It, it, yeah. They were the original creators of that. So that is a really special thing. And, by gosh, it's good. Oh, and they have a ton really of good. choices, a ton of choices. This place, look, it looks like it is. It looks old. Yeah. And it's, 
it's just an interesting deal. It looks busy no matter when you go. Yeah. And they have it down to an art. They know how to get people in and out quick. They do. And the cool thing is it's a seasonal place. Yep. And when it is open during the spring through summer through uh, the fall, uh, quite literally, some we've read before we went there online that there's usually people like all Lined up over, all over. Yeah. all over the parking lot waiting their turn to get some custard right because it's walk up you don't go in that is so true we got there and it was jam-packed we had but difficulty finding a place to park too yes but it was super fast we, we yeah. um, waited in a very we thought long line that went really fast yeah we did our order and we paid mm-hmm. and then you just step back into the crowd again and you wait for them to yell out your order mm-hmm. i'm like how is this gonna work right it worked it worked exactly really right. well Nobody complaining, everybody getting what they wanted. It it worked really slick. They were fast. Yeah. So do you remember what they do on their off season they before Christmas? They sell Christmas trees. They do. That's something very little known, but they're very, very popular around St. Louis. Yeah, they they this is something they've done for quite a while uh-huh. now too, where they um have an area where they're growing Christmas trees. Mm-hmm. They cut them all down and ship them in and they sell Christmas trees. Yeah, I believe some of the Christmas trees they get up in Nova Scotia. Yes, I believe that's correct. <sighs> Nova Scotia. The Canadian I just like balsam fur it. is what it is. So anyway, make a long story short, Ted Drews, we highly recommend you just, if you're going through St. Louis and you're going to like, what are we going to do? I feel like custard. Well, let's go to Ted Cruz, or Ted Cruz, Ted Drews. <laughs> you're going to do that. That sucker's over. staying in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Drews, frozen yes. custard. Yes, oh, sir. Oh my gosh. But still, um, <laughs> Definitely, where really it is worth it, and the prices are reasonable. I absolutely, you, you definitely, it's, it's no different than going to Andy's or anything else. It's very competitive. My only regret is we didn't get souvenir cups. I agree. We like to have our little souvenir cups because when we were there, it was the what anniversary is like the seventy fifth anniversary yeah, or something and, like their eightieth. And we can't get that back. Nope, can't get that back. Dang it all the heck. Dang it all the heck. Okay. <laughs> Next place. Route 66. Now we're heading west towards Oklahoma yes. from there. And we stopped at a place called the Blue Whale. Of Catoosa. Yes. I'm telling you, I thought that was so cool. And we won't dig into this deep. You need to go listen to the podcast, folks, because it is really interesting. This thing was um, built years ago by a man that wanted to build it for his family, just for him to have a play area so mm-hmm. they could be together. Hugh Davis was his name. Mm-hmm. There you go. And he built it for his wife and his kids, and uh, they also ran a alligator farm. Do you remember that? Oh, while I forgot there, about that part. And and what year did he build it? Do you have that 1972. There? And for it the is, 34th wedding anniversary, by the way. Yeah, he built it for his wife, but it was for the family, you know. Yeah. And um, it, it's just really cool. It has slides going out the side. I mean, it's st- still all intact. They do not allow swimming there anymore, unfortunately. Mm. But it's so cool. You just can't help but, but be impressed. Right. And that is in Katosa? Katusa. Katusa, Oklahoma. And that's not very far away from here either. But um, it is it, – they just recently had a restoration done like last year or the year before last. And um, you know what? I, I really hope that restoration continues and they keep up that place because it really is so neat and nostalgic. It's – we are really big into buying um, postcards mm-hmm. or magnets. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, we also like to buy something if we're trying to help support something that needs the funds to keep supporting itself. Mm-hmm. So we did. We got our magnet when we were there. And um, I hope it sticks around. It's a pretty neat so piece too. of history. It is a nice little piece of history. And, it, and it's, like I said, it's very nostalgic. Um then what did we visit further down the roads? I like <laughs> right down the roads. Right down the roads. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, honey. We've definitely had a break. Um, yes. Yeah, we headed down the road and we visited Pops. Pops. In Arcadia, Oklahoma. Okay, so I, I can't remember the number specifically, but they have hundreds upon hundreds of different style of soda from around the U.S. and the world. Oh, yeah. I mean, just flavors of orange alone 
or more than 25, I know. I know it was oh, yeah. more than that. It was insane. So if you get a chance to pop into Pops, you might as well do it because it's a lot of fun. They even have a little diner. Mm-hmm. Um, just going in and grabbing something you'd never think you'd try. I think there was some kind of an alien oh, yeah, soda yeah, and all these names, different things. Yeah, yeah. They so, have bacon-flavored soda. They had, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, it's just weird stuff. Yep. And it's but, got that old-fashioned diner feel to it. Out mm-hmm. front, they have the art, um, the sculpture. That looks like a giant soda bottle, mm-hmm. um, which is pretty cool. And I guess it's kind at, of like an Art Nouveau type of thing. Yeah, I, I guess at night it's lit up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have that giant. So what she's talking about there is a there's a giant soda bottle out front. I'm I want to say it's like thirty feet tall, maybe twenty five thirty feet tall, and it has it's the, really big. It's just huge. <laughs> And it like has these neon lights uh, that sh- that it's in the shape of the soda bottle, and they they kind of glow and they move and do all kinds of stuff. It's people actually come out there just to watch it. But as you could guess, um, Pops is not one of the older things. It is one of the newer things, but it's well worth your time to stop there. Yeah, for the life of me, I cannot remember when exactly they actually built that place. But it's in Arcadia, Oklahoma. They also have the round red. Uh, oh, yeah, the round barn. Yeah. Um, one more thing on Pops, just a heads up, though. It is crowded when you're there. It's always busy. Yeah, it is. Everybody we've talked to has said the same thing. It's yeah. always busy. So, you know, if you're not a fan of crowds, you might not want to go in. But I would suggest that if you enjoy soda especially, just go in and take a look. It's really incredible. Exactly. They serve breakfast and they serve all kinds of other things. Um, it's uh, open seven days a week. And exactly as Sandy said, that it does get a little busy and you may have to wait to have some seating. But really, honestly, the food's pretty good and I think we think it's pretty worth it. And now if you find a pop, let's say that you wanted to have something to drink with it, go pick yourself a pop out and uh, bring it over into the restaurant area. Right. And then the, you just pay for it there with your meal right you get to pick the soda to go with your meal which is a really neat idea we didn't know that till we sat down all right and so also, now you know also there's uh you can refuel there you can do all kinds of stuff so on your way to visit more stuff it's a great bathroom stop too. It, it really is so anyway um pops out in arcadia oklahoma another route 66 absolutely and as if our timing couldn't be more perfect um then what shows up around springfield it is the birthplace of Route 66 Festival in downtown Springfield. Mm-hmm. And now, that was our first time attending it. This it is was. like, was it the third or fourth year? I, I can't remember. I can't remember. But, but. But we both butted at the same time. But, but. But it was really cool. Okay, first of all, anybody that listens much probably knows that I really love old cars. I love cars, mm-hmm. um, which is a really funny thing. A lot of girls don't. But I love going to car shows. With lots and lots and lots of muscle cars. You and I cars. both love car you shows. You like the oldies. I like the muscle cars. Yes. So we have a great time. Yes, we do. And we like free. So if you can walk around and look at cars for hours, free. Oh, crazy ones, too. It's great. And yeah, it, there were tons of cars. Yeah. Um, and then there were also tons and tons of motorcycles, which was really cool. Mm-hmm. I'd never thought about looking at motorcycles before, but we did, and we, we enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Um, they had food trucks. They had yeah. live music, two yeah. different bandstands with live music. Yeah. That's how big the place was. It was spread out enough and everything. Um, I, I'm, the list goes on. I feel like I'm missing stuff. You had like, uh, I think it was three blocks that took up from the downtown on St. Louis uh, Street. If you're down there, down here in, in St., uh, Springfield, Missouri, you're going to know exactly what we're talking about. If you go downtown and you go to the square and you got St. Louis, it runs right out of the square in downtown St. Louis. I mean, it was downtown. three. Downtown. Springfield. Downtown Springfield. I right. keep saying St. Louis. St. Louis Street in downtown Springfield. Thank you. And it goes, it, it just went on forever. We couldn't walk the whole thing. No. We mm-hmm. could not walk. We're no, just we ended up quitting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're working on that. Yeah. We said that a year ago. You remember that? I remember that. And we said we were going to lose weight for our cruise. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember that. And I, we came back from the cruise and I was like, 12 pounds heavier or 10, 12 pounds up? Uh, yeah, you doubled what the normal weight gain for a cruise was. <laughs> I'm talented like that. I'm an overachiever. <laughs> but we're working on that. <laughs> it's real this time, I swear. I swear. It's, <laughs> it's going to take effect eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Route 66, something that we really enjoyed getting to know, and we intend to go further with that. I highly recommend. If you're into uh, classic cars and uh, you're and hit, into Route or 66 history. or history or just... 
they have a lot of good food, a lot of good music. Uh, they had a lot of things for you to do down there. There's, I mean, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Yep. Just a lot of fun. To, so a lot to, of creative people too down there. To sum it up, anything as far as all this Route 66 stuff, if it interests you, if you find that interesting or you just want to find a way to go coast to coast mm-hmm. for a road trip, Route 66 is a great way to go. Amen, sister. There's a lot of stuff out there to see. The, um, the also, I think we also should, I know I didn't put it in our notes, but the thing that we need to mention is the fact that there is a museum downtown that opened at the same time yep. that the birth of Route 66 Festival was going on. Yeah, and I actually think it was just a few weeks later that we interviewed him. Yeah, it was John... You're going to say it wrong. No, it's John Sellers. Yes, good job. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you heard pretty sure, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, no, so, it's John Sellers. He was wonderful. Okay, hey, first of all, the dude has got a great speaking voice. Yes, he does. I would love to just interview him all the time. <laughs> and he was funny and he yeah. was easy to talk to. But we um definitely go to that museum. It's a great museum. Um it's worth your time. Yeah. And it's really modern. Yeah. You they know, did a great job, and they're adding to it all the time. Right. And then we did a podcast all about that, and we tell you about a lot of the things you can expect from this museum, this worthwhile museum to go down and actually learn more about not only Springfield history, but Missouri history. And they have a whole floor Route dedicated. Yeah, they have a whole floor dedicated to Route 66. So. Gunfighters, Civil War. Yeah, the gunfighter stuff was some of my favorite. That was pretty cool. It was um, really cool. So anyway, um Go check out that podcast. Uh, really worth it. Um, let me see. What's the next in September? September. Okay. September. It was a special I did month, something. wasn't it? I did something. Mm-hmm. And Olivia did something that we had never done. And we did it together. And it's so special and cool. And everybody's going to think I'm a nerd. But that's okay. She and I went to the Jonas Brothers concert in St. Louis. Yeah. It was the most incredible experience ever. <laughs> I'm still excited about it. I still can't listen to the music the same. I'm excited it wasn't Justin Bieber. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it was great, though, because Steve drove us, so I didn't have to worry about how to navigate. He just dropped us at the doors and picked us up as close as he could. Right. <laughs> and that worked out really great. She and I had a wonderful time. It was loud. It was packed. It was exciting. Mm-hmm. They put on an exceptional show. If you ever want to go, if you've been wondering if you wanted to go and you really think you do, but you're not sure, go. It's probably going to be one of the best concerts you ever see. Yeah. You showed me video of, uh, and little excerpts of, of the concert when you were there and you, you send them to me or after the concert, you show me some of them. And it's like the music is good. Yeah. They are really good at entertaining. That's for sure. They're entertainers. They love their fans. Down. They uh, absolutely love their fans. Exactly. So make a long, I, I, I'm not a Jonas Brothers fan, just FYI, but what you did show of me, I go, you know, I probably would have had a good time. I think you would have, and you would have enjoyed watching us because we were so goofy. Oh my gosh, you were so cute. <laughs> You're so adorable when you were jamming out. We were. Olivia was filming that. Olivia and I are not cut loose rebels. So <laughs> when, when we're jamming, we're, our arms, we're kind of nerdy. We're kind of arms close by and we're just kind of wiggling, but we had a great time mm-hmm. and we enjoyed it when it would, they would quit singing sometimes because the crowd was singing and it was just so incredible to be a part of that, you know? So anyway, now what did I, I, could, I, I could talk forever on that. You know that. What did I say? And isn't that true? When I, when you told yes. us that once we went to this concert, we could never listen to their music the same again. Never. And again. it's true because now I always think of the, I, I think of them singing it on stage when I, yeah when I hear their. Yeah. Music play. So it's and, super cool. Mm. For Olivia and I, this was a big deal because we um, bonded over their music when she was younger. Mm-hmm. She and I really didn't get along. We butted heads so badly when she was a kid. And um, we bonded over that from about 15 on. We started really getting closer and closer yeah. through her music. And they were one of the groups that we really enjoyed together. Mm-hmm. And therefore, when they came back and this concert was so close to us, you know, you told us to go. I did. I wanted you to go. I'm cheap. I was afraid to spend the money. And he's like, nope, you guys should do this. When will you get this chance to do this again? She's 21 years old. Yep. You know, so we went, 
We had a great time. Well no regrets it. whatsoever. It but was a great time. While there, we had the opportunity to actually eat some really good barbecue at uh, Sugar Fire. Sugar Fire, downtown St. Louis. That place was incredible. And they have two. They have another one. There's one downtown and there's one somewhere else. In, in Charleston. In the, hey, thank you. I think. Charleston. And now where is there one? Oh, there's one here in Springfield. Boom, right here in Springfield, Missouri. We ate there after church today. And it is really good. And we're just very excited because more ways to not eat right after we said we wanted to eat better. But anyway. Uh, well, okay, so. In, it's starting tomorrow. <laughs> in our defense, one of the things that you need to do in order to, if not maintain weight, but even just possibly lose, lose it, lose it, lose it, lose it is, is, uh, the cutting down on the portions. And you and I have been splitting plates right. lately. Haven't we've we? split plates the last three or four times we've eaten together. Yes. So that's when we, we eat so now. I've been trying to do us good here. Yes. And we're not trying to eat just like a big bowl of pasta either. We're, mm -hmm. we're trying to do better about incorporating some vegetables. Some of them aren't healthy, but we're trying. Yeah. And so right next to that uh, Sugar Fire was the Bl National Blues Museum, which I am yeah, you're determined dying to in see. 2020. I will go. I say we go in May. We're planning a trip in May. So we're yes. um, just a little jaunt. Just so jaunt. We'll, we'll try to hit that in May for sure. And we need to look in some other things. There may be other stuff downtown we really want to see. So. Yeah. And then hopefully we can bring them to you. So my question is, was the Jonas Brothers episode was it our number one for the year <laughs> yeah Woo, what am i saying yeah. i'm telling you i know my stuff that was a good concert <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm a nerd but it's so fun uh yeah jonas brothers was like it went, it went crazy i think it's because it just said jonas brothers in there not because of the fact it was like yeah, they he, met jonas brothers yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. That may have been a little. And the second most popular episode of 2019 was uh, What's New in Silver Arrow City and Branson in 2019. Yep, yep, yep. And, the third, and I think we did that after we went with yeah. my screwed up arm. Yeah. I think we did that episode yeah. then. Um, but we went a few other times. We've just had a really busy year of craziness. Yeah. And the third most popular one was Every Hotel Ever. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. And number 10 was the introduction to Two Tenderfoot Tourists. Yes. So um, what were we going to talk about? Oh, so September. So everything everything that was been happening to us in 2019 up to September was pretty good, minus the fact that, I mean, even though you had shoulder surgery. It went well, so we couldn't really complain. well, couldn't complain. Um, we, we had our first cruise. We went to, I mean, we just did all kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, we did our little road trips here and there. We had a good time. We were enjoying our time with our kids and um, other family members and friends. And then um, we suffered the loss of the twins. Yeah. Um, she gave birth and they passed away. And that was really crushing. Yeah. So uh, that was one of the reasons why uh, we were not on the podcast or doing a podcast for months on end. In fact, we're, we're still trying to get ourselves back in the swing of things. Right. Because it was it was a little bit of a uh, a really big blow. I'm just going to say it like it is. It, it was a very big blow to us because we were going to be grandchildren for the uh, grandparents for the first time. And you know what? Uh, we had to be there for our family. And um, you okay over there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll continue talking. I'll continue talking. So, um, so we. Well, I was going to say, speaking of family, mm -hmm. of course, we go from all of that and trying to get back into the swing of things and everybody being okay. And then the holidays hit. So then we have four different Christmases. But, oh, wait, no, I was trying to skip ahead to Christmas. Mm -hmm. What did we do for Thanksgiving? Oh, we went to uh, Panama City Beach. And uh, this was an attempt to uh, take the kids minds off of the, their loss. So, uh, we, what we did was we pulled our money together and we, we paid for their way. Well, Sean and, uh, Haley did, uh, we, we splurged in other ways in order to help them like, right. like paying for their meals. It, right. Helping like pay for meals and um, paying for fuel on some vehicles right. and stuff like that. And we all went to Panama city beach and, uh, we, we, uh, ate Thanksgiving dinner down there. At we the beach. did. We ate at a restaurant right there 
there on the beach and it was a buffet and it was incredible. Sharkies had really good crab cakes. I could have eaten oh a plate gosh, full of just those crab cakes. Are so good. But we had a great time doing that. Um, lots of other things that we did, including um, running around <laughs> in a boat for a while. Yeah. And it was a great time. It yeah, really it was. was. I don't think we could have asked for a more fun time, more peaceful time. Yeah. It was great. We and, ate really too much. Oh, we ate too much the whole time. And and <laughs> it was in the 70s the whole time, so we got to swim. Yeah, and I got to do something that I have never done. And we talked about it on the podcast because uh, we, we talked about it, um, uh, about me going, me having a fear all my life of, of water. I have a fear of drowning. I have a fear of what's in the water, what could eat me or what could make me sick. All those things come to play in my mind. So I, for my entire life, pretty much avoided water. Well, I'm getting to a point in my life. Sandy's getting a point to her life that it's like, you know what? I'm done being afraid of things. People, I, my We're tired life, of missing out on things because yeah. of our fears so i baby stepping through it and uh i went out into the water right you you got a first taste of it back in cozumel where you floated mm -hmm. and also you snorkeled a little bit which yeah. i was totally blown away but this was huge yeah he goes out into the ocean um as the waves are banging people around and he's out there with waves slapping over the top of his head and having a great time yeah i, I could have been like about 100 150 yards out uh, from the the beach that's how far the the, the it stays somewhat level going out. Of course, and, I think um, he's like the rest of us. He was with Sean, so he felt pretty safe. Yeah. Um, Sean is Aquaman, and he is like the strongest guy we know, and he's just Sean. And um, he was out there with him, which he was thrilled to death to play with you out in the water. <laughs> I like playing in the waves. I, I always imagined what it might be like, but it far exceeded anything that I thought. And then on top of that, we had stingrays playing around yeah. us. You guys said that they swam between you yeah. at one point even. I'm sitting there going, dang it, if I were only... He was less afraid than I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't want him going over my head. I so wanted so you I, out there. I didn't go quite as deep. Um, but he had to be out there and stingrays were around. I was like, did you touch him? He goes, no. I said, oh, I would have. <laughs> a couple and of I them totally ran into Sean. That was the funny Well, part. I told you, I'm pretty sure I did touch a couple because I'm pretty sure I stepped, stepped on, on one. Because yeah. something wriggled out from under my foot. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure one brushed against my leg. Yeah. So pretty sure I touched some, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> But it was an incredible was so time. Fun. It was such a recharge for our family. Another episode you can go back and listen to. And yeah. It's tiring. There, yeah. There's there's a lot to see, a lot yeah. to do, our golfing, our, our maze, the whole bit. Mm -hmm. It was a good time. Yeah, that was episode 109, just so yes. you know. Yes, yes, yes. And then we headed right into December. And like I said, we had family, family, family. We had four Christmases to go to this year. Yeah, it was crazy. So trying to fit in podcasting is, has just been really hard. And we were like... Like, you know what? With what we dealt with since September, mm -hmm. family was priority. So right. that's what we did. That's what we did. So now we're into January. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. And For the belated Happy New Year. That's all right, though. That's, that's all, right. all right. So what are we looking forward to in 2000? <laughs> what are we looking forward to in 2020? Well, um, there's a lot of things. Well, just right out of the, you know, right out of the gate here, we did something we'd never done already before. We got tattoos. We did. Please don't think poorly of us. <laughs> we will actually put pictures up on our Two Tenderfoot Tourists uh, page, and that way you can see what we and did. Instagram page. Um, we'll put the original pictures up, not the ones now, because they're kind of gross why they heal. But um, <laughs> yeah, we got tattoos in honor of our grandbabies. Right. Um, it's like a never forget type of thing. And we designed our own tattoos. Mm -hmm. And um, then the ladies there that did our tattoos at Tattoo Coven mm -hmm. in Springfield. Very great ladies. Um, Thank you so much for wonderful. working for us. They tweaked our designs and they really did a great job. I'm really impressed with it. Describe yours. Um, mine has two little babies cuddled together in... In hands. In hands, yeah. yeah. And hands. then, of course, it has their initials and the date. And it it's beautiful. It, it I can't really describe it enough. It's just it's precious. Gorgeous. And then um, Steve's has the two little like 
baby, alphabet blocks. you know, the little building blocks babies have. Alphabet, um, alphabet, yeah, alphabet, alphabet box. Am I saying that right? The alphabet box. <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> And um, has an L and a B for Liam and Brianna, which is their, their names. names. Mm-hmm. And this says forever grandpa. It's just precious. But we'll put pictures up. And it's really exciting because we kind of did a pact to do these. And Sean is getting one. And mm-hmm. so is Kyle and Alyssa. And mm-hmm. Olivia already got hers. We'll put a picture of hers up, too. Yeah. And um, then um, Haley, Alyssa's sister, is also going to get yeah. one. And we're, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty yeah. cool deal. Um, we may have other family members that have decided to do one, but we're not sure yet. Yeah. And if so, we'll add them to the mix as they get one. It's, yeah. it's a pretty neat thing. Yeah. Um, I, 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 for years, you know how I am. It's like, I do not want a tattoo because one, I'd have buyer's remorse immediately. <laughs> uh, and the second of all, I have freckles all over my body. It's not going to show up at all. And I was the opposite. I wanted a tattoo, mm-hmm. but I am so cheap. <laughs> yeah, that was the And third all thing, I could yeah. think about is it has to be perfect. It has to be very important and special because mm-hmm. I am too cheap to spend that kind of money on something I will yeah. regret having. So, yeah, this was perfect. Yeah, and I was so I I've never been so sure of anything that I was going to put on my body before. I know. Not even your ear piercing I'm back when you were a kid. My, yeah. huh? <laughs> I was like, "But dad's going to shoot me." <laughs> all right, do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> uh, teenage rebellion, yeah. but yeah, but, uh, 2020, there's, there's a, uh, you know, there's a lot going on for us as far as like, uh, life, family, yep. things like that. Um, we're not sure right now we are in a transition as far as like, um, life, life. Yeah, yeah. We've got a lot of life stuff going on and we'll try to keep you updated as yeah. it actually comes about. We don't want to say too much until we know exactly what's going on with different things. Yeah. And, there's, there's and some our family things... will kill us if we tell their business. Yeah. So we'll wait on that too. Exactly. There's just some things that we don't need to announce right now. Right. But we're excited about our future. We are. Um, right now we currently have on, on the docket, if you will, May, we're going to St. Louis. We're going to spend a few days up there. Um, now we have been to St. Louis before on m- numerous occasions, but there are still so much to see up there that we have not yeah. seen before. We figured that out just by seeing that museum. Yeah. Next, so, sitting there next to the restaurant that we've never heard of. Exactly. And also maybe a cruise in the near future of yes. 2020. Like I said, we're trying to work out the details of that. I know that in past episodes we said we were going to go on the Oasis in December, but it turns out that there's some scheduling conflicts that may be an issue, so we're going to have to rethink this thing. And as disappointing as that may be for me and Sandy. Right, but we're still going to do something bigger than the last one. Right, exactly. So anyway, I think that... That is a good year in review. I think that, um, minus the negatives and the positives and, and I mean, with everything that we did in 2019, it's going to be a memorable one. We're never going to forget it. That is a guarantee. Right. Right. And we're all closer than ever. Yes, we so. are. And, um, I, I, you know what? I don't know what my life would be without you. Aww. Because going through that was one of, like, the worst things I've ever had to go through. I get it. You know I do. Um, This is what we're here for. This is This is when you know you really care about each other, and our family drew really close together. Oh, my goodness. We are very close now. Um, And we thought we couldn't be this close. No. I thought we were already close to begin with. And we are all tight. There is there is no getting between us now. So, uh, so it's, yeah, it's a precious thing that's happened. Yeah, one what way a, or the other. What a glorious 2019, right? Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. So enough of that emotional stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. So this was a good episode. It was. I think it was a good episode. I mean, I know that we were just talking about a um, a look back, but you know what? It's good to look back and then move forward. I'm excited about yeah, it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to move forward, right? You betcha. It's a new year. Thank you for listening to episode 111, a Tenderfoot look back at 2019. Two Tenderfoot Tourists is a family-friendly podcast. 
If you like what you hear, be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcast, Podbean, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Spotify, just to name a few. To get in touch with us and chat about this podcast or even your travel experiences, simply email us at tenderfoottourist at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to check out our website at twotenderfoottourist.com. That's T-W-O, tenderfoottourist.com. And I'm Steve. And I'm Sandy. Until next time. Stay tender. Stay tender.